Hey, it's Natalie Diaz with Twiniversity and I just got a special delivery. Today, we are looking at the Delta Twin Bassinet. I'm about to open this puppy and put it together. So without further ado, start the music. Guys, just a gentle reminder here. When you are getting any products, please do not do like I do. When you open up any items, the very first thing that you should do is read all of the instructions. That way, as you're unpacking the boxes, you know exactly what to look for in that box. The funniest part is that I went back, I think three times in total, to go look at the directions when, had I just read the directions from start to finish in the beginning, look, here I go. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretending to read the directions. Guys, I wasn't really reading the directions. I was just trying to be fancy. But one thing that I really did do is I always make sure that I have all of the pieces before I begin any single project. Now, you will also notice that I'm gonna go back a few times to keep looking at them. So please read the directions before you start assembling anything. And another thing, please gentle reminder, make sure that if you can register a product, please make sure that you do register a product. Even if it was purchased by somebody else and it's a hand-me-down, you should still contact that company and register it in your name. So here it is, the compact portable twin bassinet made by little folks brought to us by our friends at Delta. So already you're going to notice that there are independent sides and in the center you will see that there is a mesh divider. So it's very, very clear, you know, it's, it's breathable fabric and if you look around the sides, um, there is also this mesh material. Uh, there is padding here, so I don't know. I guess you have to really be cautious of where you're going to position them. But, you know, this meets all of our regulations. And uh, I want to say it's always good to, to just be thoughtful because your kids should always be sleeping in a mesh-sided sleeper. That's why cribs have slats. All right, so if you notice this, if you, when you when I was putting it together, you saw that it has independent little mattresses. It has to because this divider is actually permanent. This is not a removable divider. Can you remove it? No, you definitely cannot remove this divider. It has a metal bar up here, which is holding this together. Um, well, not holding this together, but holding this so it could stay separate. And then you have the two different mattresses. The mattresses aren't super thick, but they're fine and they're gonna be washable and it's gonna be great. And I definitely give a big thumbs up to the mattress. And also, I know it's a small detail. I really like the pattern. Is that crazy? I really like the pattern. A nice little touch here. Well, if you notice, by the way, I zip this all on. So the zipper goes all the way around and you're able to, uh, to put the padding on and off and that you could throw it in the washing machine. I think that's pretty fantastic. And if you notice, it has these little side pockets that I could put pacifiers and I could put a diaper and some wipes and stuff. If there is a pocket and there is a product, I tend to leave the instructions in there just until I get the lay of the land and I know what's happening. Now, you saw that I attached these metal bars. Very, very simple, four screws, easy breezy, lemon squeezy. And then it does have rolly wheels and the rolly wheels do have a little lockable mechanism. I also noticed I apparently just lost an earring. So this is it. Let's talk some brass tacks here, okay? Each of these little sides could hold a baby that is up to 15 pounds, so 30 pounds in total for this. Another thing is, is let me give you the dimensions. It is going to be 33 and a half wide by 25.75 high by 32.75 deep, which I guess would be long. So will this fit? I do not know. That is gonna be up to you. So this is the compact portable twin bassinet by Delta.
Now let's talk about some pros and cons. One pro will be that it will fit in most bedrooms or maybe especially for surrogate families if you're planning on staying in a hotel soon after delivery just think about that this might not be the worst option because one of the things that i didn't show you is it collapses it was so easy to fold there's two release buttons and the funny thing is it's the first time i did it of course i should have read the instructions but you need to uh, release the velcros on both sides as well but then it really does have a very 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 compact fold which would be absolutely fantastic and it's super duper lightweight like honestly it's great so let's say you're gonna go um right after delivery and you're gonna go recover at grandma's house this would be something that you really may want to consider i love that it folds so tiny Oh, Betty Lou, what do you think of this? You like that? Me too. Well, do you want to tell them? Well, <coughs> some of the cons of this would be that you would be spending something, you would be spending money on something that you're only gonna use for a short amount of time. Is this gonna take you, you know, into toddler beds? No, you're gonna need to get this bassinet and then eventually transition them to cribs. But if you are a type of family that's like, we're doing a bassinet no matter what, then this is definitely something that you should consider. Another con that I will say is that the material that's used is not the most luxurious. But what do you expect? The price matches the materials. Is it made well? Yes, the fabric is made fantastically, the mattresses are made fantastically, but that base is made of that press board and that leaves a little something to be desired. I wish it was a little sturdier, but in all sincerity, it can't be too much sturdier because it would add so much weight to this bassinet. So in a nutshell, that is, the, what do you think? Betty would have loved this when it was time. Why, you guys don't have a 100 pound rescue dog that thinks that she's a lap dog? I didn't even have to ask her to come up here. She just came to visit. But if you are like, I'm gonna be in different parts of my home, I wanna be able to take the twinnies wherever I go, well then definitely consider the Delta Twin Compact and Portable Bassinet. All right, Betty, you ready to take a nap? Okay, shh. Oh, I love my dog. Well, guys, that was a quick little behind the scenes of the Delta Twin Bassinet. Um, wait, what's this? Could this be? Is it happening? Is it a cutscene? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's like a Marvel movie. Dex, we're gonna go back to reality. Do you insist that we sleep? Oh, Betty, give me a kiss. Thank you, Betty Lou. Thank you for two kisses, two kisses. <sighs> That was fun, no? Guys, another gentle reminder, please make sure that you are using all baby gear as instructed by the manufacturer. I know we love some parenting hacks, but please follow all directions 100% of the time. Also, if you aren't already, follow us on our social platforms. We have a really active Facebook following, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, you name it, we are there. And if you're expecting, grab a copy of What to Do When You're Having To. It's a book written by me. You're going to love it. And follow us on Instagram too. We have actually exclusive giveaways and stuff over there. So we're just facebook.com slash twiniversity and instagram.com slash twiniversity. We're really easy to find. So join us for an online class. Just check out some reviews here on our YouTube channel. Head on over to iTunes and grab a copy of our latest podcast. We got a lot going on. And until next time, guys, I will see you later, alligators. Bye, guys.